All right. So now that uh, I got the stepper working, um, I need to set up the micro stepping on the other ones. And I also need to do the cloning of the uh, Y axis to the extra channel. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and if you like the video, leave a thumbs up. Just gonna take these, make sure that everything's off. Off, I'm gonna check. Make sure I don't have any power, which I do not. And then I get to add these little guys. So I'm gonna make sure I'm just gonna make every axis uh, full micro stepping. So because I'm using the A4988 drivers, I think that's 1 16th. I think with the 8, the two five fives, you can do. 32nd resolution, but um, it's good enough. I have 8255 drivers coming, but you know what? I think I need to learn a little bit more just in general about all this. Anyway, I've set my VREF at uh, 61.615 because the maximum for my motor is it's uh, maximum is 1.5 amps per phase and 1.5 volts per, per phase I think and it's uh, so multiply that by 8 and then by the uh, the resistor on your driver which mine is a 0.1 resistor usually most of them early ones at least uh, I think were 0 0.068 um, so the maximum for me would be 1.2 which is basically cranking this all the way up to max which I'm not going to do so I'm going to go a little bit uh, about halfway and that seems to seems to work so there we go I set up the micro steps then I'm going to just do the cloning of the axes because I've already done the configuration in the grbl uh, config h and here we go I'm doing the y step One. All right, so now I just have to set up the rest of my drivers. So I want to go down a little bit. All right, you know what? It's fine. That one's at 615, the rest of them can be at 63. I'm just gonna go ahead and shut it down, put it in the box, connect everything up, and run the auto config. For a while, the motors weren't working. Disheartening. Okay, and then I messed up with these other jumpers over here. I'm not duplicating the Y to there. I'm actually adding a new, another Y. So dual axes, so there's a config for it and so we're tying the pins those we're tying pins 12 and 13 to that driver okay so now to get these in actually in there I should have put the Arduino in first and then added the things okay let's see Thank you. 
So I'm actually gonna double check all of the stepper motor leads, make sure that everything is a-okay with that. Red, blue, green, black, red, blue, green, black. All right, so I need to swap those two. Red. Black, blue, green, red. Black, green, blue, red. Or Y2, Y1. Double check your cables. So these long ones I had had a different pinout than the shorter ones that I had. And these shorter ones, when I was testing, I needed to swap the green and the blue. Let's see, is this the one that I swapped? green, blue, red, black, blue, green, red. Yeah, so it pays to double check your wires. Okay, reattaching the X. Okay, moment of truth. Let's turn it on. That's the power of the Arduino. Use that cable in years. So let's see if before I turn on the main voltage. Okay, it's on. I'm gonna turn on the Z. That's reversed. That's going this way. This one is not turning. So I guess Y2. So 
Z is reversed, Y2 is not uh, moving. Um, all right. I'm gonna check if the limit switches work. Now, these ones light up because I did the power to them. So, let's have a look. Yes. Nice, those work. Uh, the, Z, X, the Zs are permanently tripped, so I have to figure that out, and then... Alright, so one of the X's is not lighting up, the other is. These Y's both light up. The, the Z's are, are both lit. Just one of them is, and both of these Y's are lit. So, obviously I need to figure something out. Maybe my wire harness is a little wonky. All right. 